Hi, it's Nick on the 12th of November with the final episode of this week's series on uh, the magic of creativity. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm approaching 60 now. Um, I think as I, when I was a kid, I never, you know, I thought only a few people could ever make a living out of being creative. It felt like a domain of a few special gifted people. And here I am today and I think, you know, I don't think there's ever been more opportunity to make our living out of being creative, to create a life out of our creativity. That's one of the magic of it. I don't think our creativity is there just for us to earn money out of. I think it's a gift, you know, I think it's totally independent of whether we make money out of it or not. I think, you know, the joy of creativity is the expression of who we are, you know, the expression of our heart and our soul and our gifts. That's, to me, what creativity is really about. And today, if we're, you know, open to it, if we're entrepreneurial, if we, um, you know, have the mind and heart to do it, it's, there's never been more opportunity to make a living out of being creative than today, you know, there's just so many ways to get paid to be creative and so many ways to reach people that we couldn't reach people in the past. Uh, so I'm, I'm an optimist in that respect, that I think, you know, the world is, is more full of opportunities than ever. And some of us kind of think, well, creativity should just be a hobby. It shouldn't be something we make our living out of. It's, you know, if we make our living out of creativity, if we turn it into a business or a career, then it's going to lose its heart. It's going to lose its essence. It's just all going to become commercial and we're going to lose the joy of it, basically. And of course, that can be true. That, that can happen and it does happen to some people. And I don't think it's inevitable that that happens. I don't think it needs to happen. And, um, you know, a big insight moment for me a few years ago was listening to an interview with uh, Leonard Cohen, who some of you know, who sadly died about a year ago now, uh, who was a poet and a singer and a songwriter. And uh, I remember listening to this little interview with him and he was uh, being asked the question, you know, w when you set yourself up as an artist in the 1960s, did you have an agenda? Did you have a mission? What were you out to do? And his answer was lovely. He said, you know, I didn't really have a mission. He said, there was only one dictum that I had for myself, and it was this. He said, I didn't want to work for pay, but I did want to be paid for my work. And I just thought that was such a subtle but powerful distinction. I didn't want to work for pay, but I did want to be paid for my work. And I think that's the kind of attitude that we need to take as creatives, which is we're not working for pay. We're working for the love of our creativity. And we can be very clever and intelligent and inspired about how we can be paid to do what we naturally love to do. Um, and I think a lot of us have blocks to that. You know, we feel guilty or, you know, we don't feel we're worth it and all sorts of stuff that can get in the way of it. But that's my highest um, kind of view is that, you know, don't work for pay, work for the love, work for what you love doing and get well paid for doing it if you can as well. That, that, that's a beautiful thing to be able to do because also the more people you reach and, um, you know, the more people are blessed by your gifts and the more people will be willing to pay you for them. So that's the end of to, uh, this week's theme. I hope it's been interesting and engaging. I've enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow with another theme. And um, as usual, I don't know what that's going to be. I usually decide about two minutes before I start the broadcast. But uh, I'll be back tomorrow with a new theme for the week. God bless. Have a good day. Bye-bye.